Stop 38 is where the sec third to last event of the Sunoco Cup Series comes back to the Rock, Rockingham, North Carolina for the AC Delco 500. And on the pole for the third race in a row, Skylin Carlson gets another pole. She's pulled at the most recent Atlanta race, our last event at Phoenix, and now she's pulling here at the Rock. And on the outside, there'll be Tim Walsh in the number five, Levi Garrett Loom, and a row two will be Trey Campbell and John Acosta, the Bristol Grab some Buds 500 winner. Most recently, row three will be Paige Johnson, who polled at our winner event here, and Chris Dollarton in the 66, the Daytona Pepsi 400 winner. Row number four will be Alexander Dawson, who's our points leader and won here in our winner race, and Tim Fiegel, who won the Daytona 500 and also won most recently at Richmond. Row number five will be Michael Dawson, a two-time winner, and... Dylan Hughes, also a two-time winner. Row six will be Alyssa Kondo and Eric Matthews, who won the Coca-Cola 600 and won at Sonoma. Row number seven will be Ryan Cooper, who swept at New Hampshire, and Ryan Acosta in the four. Kodak Olds. Row number eight will be Chantelle Barr, second in the points, and Sasha Dawson in the 15, the winner at the first Martinsville event. Row number nine will be Liam Campbell and Daniel Schwab, who won the Southern 500 at Darlington. Row 10 will be Joel Qualls, the 55 Olds, and Stephanie Naylor in the 96 Olds. Row number 11 will be Josh Osborne and Austin Hughes, the pole sitter at California. Row number four, uh, 12 will be Jake Cole, the pole sitter at Darlington, the first event, and Connor Brayton, the winner at North Wilkesboro, the most recent one. Row number 13 will be Colin Cropley and 11 Budweiser Ford, and Ray Castor, the North Wilkesboro Pole Sitter, the most recent one, number nine, Coors Light Ford. Jackie Qualls and J.G. and Orin will make row number 14. Drivers, start your engines! Row number 15 will be John Dawson, the winner at the most recent Talladega event, and Megan Yee, multiple-time winner. Row number 16 will be Vanessa Franzen and Zach Carlson in the 57 Heinz Pontiac, the Darlington Southern 500 Pole Sitter. Row number... 17 will be Johnny Gardner, the winner at Texas, and Alex Filter in the 17 tied Lumina. James Qualls and Jamie Banks will be in row number 18. Dylan Poteet, the most recent winner at Charlotte, and John Douglas in the 51 will make row number 19. Haley Summerfield, the pole sitter at Atlanta, the first event, and Aaron Reed, the winner at Riverside, will make row 20. And Keon Shaw, the winner at Talladega's first event, the Aaron's 499. And Kathy Kentar in the Folgers 25 Lumina will tail the field. It'll be 50 laps around the one mile North Carolina Speedway. The Rock rocks now third to last event of the season. The points battle's heating up between Chantelle Barra and Alexander Dawson. Let's see if anything can happen here. Dead even so far going into turns one and two, but Skyland gets the lead as predicted. Now looking on the inside is Elwi early on got trouble. Dylan Poteet's there, I do believe. And I do believe that's James Qualls. Again, troubles for both of them. Dylan Poteet and James Qualls both having not what they wanted to start with. Let's take a look back at what happened. There was a classic case, I think, of them just going into the wall. Yep. Three wide, you see Jamie Banks on the outside, and it was just James went right into Dylan. And Dylan pushed. They both went right into the inside, hit the wall. Dylan hit it head on. Excuse me, James hit it head on. Dylan right in front of James, and that was it. Wow. You want to talk about a horrible. Ever since he won the first event at Pocono, where he became the first two-time winner in the Sunoco Cup Series. He has had a horrible second half of the season. And Dylan Poteet's woes continue. Race back to the line. I do believe was won back by Skyland Carlson. So Skyland will stay the leader of things. So let's see where we look at the point at the standings right now. Skyland Carlson will lead. Trey Campbell second to Paige Johnson. Alexander Dawson, a very solid fourth, really helping his case in the points. And Tim Walsh rounding out the top five. Then Michael Dawson, John Acosta, Chris Dollarton, Alyssa Kondo, Tim Fiegel, your top ten. 
Then Dylan Hughes, Eric Matthews, Shandeli Barra, Liam Campbell, Ryan Cooper, Joel Qualls, Josh Osborne, Jake Cole, Sasha Dawson, and Daniel Schwab, your top 20. Then Colin Cropley, Stephanie Naylor, Ryan Acosta, Jack, Jackie Qualls, Austin Hughes, Connor Breton, Vanessa Franz, and Ray Caster, John Dawson, Johnny Gardner, J.G. Anorin, Zach Carlson, Alex Filter, Jamie Banks, Megan Yee, Haley Summerfield, Keon Shaw, John Douglas, Aaron Reed, Kathy Kentara, Dylan Pote, and James Qualls is just going to come back out in the track, so it's a good sign for James. We weren't sure if he was going to DNF this, but he's still in, so from what it seems, he'll catch up to the rest of the line, as he will do. He's now in line. Still under yellow, so we're looking at lap number six. We'll be back to green flags. It'll be 45 laps to go. We're only a fraction into the event for Skyling Carlson and the field. So let's see what will happen here. Skyling Carlson will lead Trey Campbell and Paige Johnson and Alexander Dawson. There we go, green. Skyland has a good, solid jump on things. Same with Trey Campbell here. Looking on the inside of Paige Johnson is Alexander Dawson. No, not going to happen. The door closes pretty quickly. Here comes Alyssa Kondo going to the inside of John Acosta. Moving up positions. But we got a new leader. Here comes Trey Campbell, the Skull Bandit 33 Olds Cutlass. Followed by Paige Johnson, the number 75 Valvoline Pontiac, who came so close to winning when we were first here, was on the pole, had a very good showing, but then Alexander Dawson started his run of things afterwards. But Paige has got the lead now, followed by Tim Walsh and Levi Garrett Lumina. Page has got the lead. Here comes Tim Walsh, followed by Michael Dawson, the winner at Martinsville's Goodies 500. Now here comes Dawson. Dawson, excuse me, that's Walsh, excuse me. Michael Dawson is actually, uh, Dawson is following, and Michael Dawson is going to use the draft to get Tim Walsh the lead. Number two spot going to to Michael. Here comes Chris Dollarton right behind. And Alyssa Kondo tails him as they will draft. They go into turn three and four. They're basically drag racing down that back straightaway. But Michael Dawson's got the lead as predicted. And here comes Chris Dollarton, the number 66 Phillips, 66 Trop Arctic Pontiac on the inside. With the help of Alyssa Kondo. How about Chantel Ibarra right there behind, excuse me, he was behind Tim Fiegel. Now he's behind Alexander Dawson. So that should make things interesting. But we got a battle going on, going right down to the inside is Alyssa Kondo. But the door slams quickly on her by the number 66 of Dollarton. Now your top four, Dollarton, Kondo, Dawson, Ibarra, and then Ryan Acosta, uh, John Acosta is actually getting passed by Liam Campbell. And now Chantel's going to try to make a move on Alexander Dawson, but nope, not yet. Here comes Eric Matthews coming up the field. Same with Josh Osborne. Josh Osborne's starting to come up as well. Battle for third, the second coming on now. Here comes Alexander Dawson trying to make a move on Alyssa Kondo. Enough momentum, nope, but not enough. Door gets closed as they go into turns one and two. Eric Matthews getting into the fifth spot now. Josh Osborne following suit. Josh Osborne who has struggled this year. He's looking to try to get something. Here's Joel Qualls who's having a pretty so-so second half. Although he's at the bottom of the field, Eric Matthews now is in fifth. 
Joel Qualls gets into eighth. Right now, the battle for ninth is Sasha Dawson and Liam Campbell. Colin Cropley behind at 11th. A single file out. They've still got a long way to go, though. John Acosta starts to drop back as Skylin Carlson passes. Jake Cole, too. We got a battle going on for second yet again. Oh, I thought we were going to see Alexander Dawson make a move on Liam, uh, give me on Alyssa Kondo, but not yet. She's, he's got enough drafts, so he could make a move at any random moment, like right now. Here comes Alexander Dawson, your points leader, with number two following suit. Alyssa Kondo, but behind them, how about Colin Cropley trying for the number 10th to get a top 10 spot? Or actually, I do believe she's, he's in the top 10. Or is, nope, he's, I don't know if he is or isn't. Let's see where Sasha Dawson is right now in 9th. So Alexander Dawson's in 10th. How about some great racing going on here? Joel Qualls going to the inside of Josh Osborne and Alyssa Kondo. And Chantelle Barra battles it out with the points leader with the help of Eric Matthews. And Chantel will get second. Eric Matthews is going to go for third. And all of the while is going to give Chris Dollarton a good comfortable lead now. So all the battling is really making a difference. Three wide here. Here comes Colin Cropley going to the inside of Josh Osborne following... The number 15 is Sasha Dawson, or was following. Now Alexander Dawson starts to drop back. He's getting passed by Liam Campbell and Sasha Dawson. Colin Cropley still battling with Josh Osborne with the help of the pole sitter, Skylin Carlson. Right now it's still Chris Dollarton. Then Chantelle Barra, Eric Matthews. Speaking of the Qualls, here comes James Qualls, who's not on pace would be your trump card if you're not careful. Left traffic. Let's see if it'll help. Let's see if it'll play a factor for the field. Chris Dalton gets by clean. Chantel gets by. You don't want to be put behind James Qualls. Whatever you do. Fortunately, nobody has done that. Everybody used James as a drafting partner, and that was it. So, Joel right now is in fourth, having a very solid showing. Oh, we got early on trouble, Ryan Cooper. He didn't take the advice, I see. And Alexander Dawson, our points leader. Can you believe it? Skylin Carlson, I think, was below involved. Johnny Gardner. Alyssa Kondo. Unbelievable. Let's see what happened. I saw stuff going on. Yep. Where did it all start? There's James Qualls. And I said everybody take the advice. James got tagged by our pole sitter, Skylin Carlson, who went right off into the grass. Ryan Cooper went up the track, hits Alyssa Kondo, hits Alexander Dawson, Josh Osborne's involved. Connor Breton takes a hit. Connor Breton goes hard into the wall there. JG and Norton just getting by. And then, same with Austin Hughes and Dylan Hughes. But then you saw... Both. You saw John, Johnny Gardner, Stephanie Naylor took a hit. Same almost with, you could say with Tim Fiegel. There's Ryan Cooper again. Keon Shaw putting the brakes on. Oh, actually, that's Paige Johnson got a little bit something in there. Keon Shaw, Tim Walsh, Dylan Pote, Vanessa Franzen, who won our most recent event at Phoenix. She's out. Wow. How the timbre of the race changes in one moment. So now we're getting right to the halfway point of things. Chris Dollarton leads still. Shandeli Barr is now second. Eric Matthews, Joel Qualls, and Liam Campbell, your top five. 
Then Sasha Dawson, Colin Cropley, Michael Dawson, Jay Cole, and Daniel Schwab. What a break for Chantel Ibarra. I mean, Alexander Dawson right now is a lap down, so that is not going to be good for Alexander Dawson. So right now, if you're Chantel Ibarra, that's good. Ryan Acosta, John Acosta, 11th to 12th, Zach Carlson, Jamie Banks, Megan Yee, Trey Campbell, John Douglas, J.G. Anorn, Ray Caster, Aaron Reed, Alex Filter, Jackie Qualls, Josh Osborne, Austin Hughes, John Dawson, Dylan Hughes, Kathy Kantar, Tim Fiegel, Stephanie Naylor, Haley Summerfield, Skylin Carlson, Paige Johnson, Ryan Cooper, Keon Shaw, Tim Walsh, Dylan Pote, James Qualls, and Alexander Dawson, both a lap down, and Connor Breton, Alyssa Kondo, Johnny Gardner and our winner at Phoenix, Vanessa Franzen, all of which out here at the Rock. So I do believe we'll be back to Green Flag Racing. This lap will be lap number 27 to 50, so it'll be 24 laps to go. You'll see James Qualls and Alexander Dawson also going to the inside as they are not on the lead lap. Like they're supposed to do. So it's actually a little ironic that the first, the leader and second in points are actually going to be side by side. Except one of them is not in the lead lap. And that's actually that number 10, Pure Elite Illumina. As they drop back. Letting Chris and Chantel and Eric and Joel and Liam. Well, actually, Liam's behind James Qualls. But now they start to make a move. Liam, Sasha Dawson, Colin Cropley was pinned back behind James Qualls and loses a spot there to Michael Dawson. Wow. You talk about bad blood. There is bad blood between James Qualls and Colin Cropley. That's actually honest facts. But speaking of Qualls, Joel Qualls is going to make a move on the inside of Eric Matthews, a battle for third. Well, not really. Eric Matthews closes the door as they go into turns three and four. Battle going on here is Michael Dawson going to go past Liam Campbell and now Sasha Dawson trying to get himself a top five spot, which he'll do. Colin Cropley back in the mix of things with Jay Cole following suit. Now Liam battles out with Colin Cropley. They talk about another feud thing. Colin just darts right in front of Liam and now battles with Sasha to try to get into the top ten deeper. Right now in the sixth spot, just outside of the top five. And the top four start to run away with things. This tie bottle will be 20 laps to go for the field. Chris Dallerton still having a very comfortable lead on things over Chantelle Ibarra. But Eric Matthews is not done. He's got a lot of opportunities knocking. Joel Qualls tried to get his first way of the season after one of his better showings. Alexander, excuse me. Colin Cropley going up high, losing a spot to J. Cole, and up he's battling it out with Sasha Dawson, and he's going to drop back. As J. Cole and Sasha Dawson battle, here comes Ryan Acosta coming to the inside of things. And now Joel Qual starts to drop back as he goes up high. Jamie Banks starting to move up through the field now. So now Colin Cropley starts to drop out of the top 10. Can't get off the high side of things. That is not where you want to be. You're basically playing a game of Russian roulette there. Battle for second going on. Here comes Eric Matthews to the inside of Chantel Ibarra. Eric was involved with the points chase for a while, but has seemed to taper off with a bunch of haphazard performances. Has got the second spot from Chantel. And now Chantel drops back to third. Chris Dollarton still leads. So now still Chris Dollarton. Now Eric Matthews, Chantel, Joel Qualls, and Michael Dawson rounds out the top five. Then it's Sasha Dawson, Jake Cole, Ryan Acosta, Jamie Banks and Megan in your top ten. Then Trey Campbell, John Douglas, Ray Caster, Colin Cropley still dropping back. I, he has not been having a very good... That car is tapered off, and I don't know what's wrong with Ron Collins' car. He has not been able to get back into the racing group. He has been stuck up there for the longest time.
Joel Qualls looking like he's going to try to make a move on Chantel. He's got enough momentum. He could make a move if he felt so inclined. But he has not. Actually, you got 15 laps to go. Actually, make that 14 laps to go for sh for Chris Dollerton, Eric Matthew, Chantel Ibarra, and Joel Qualls. Joel, right now in the top five, is the only non-winner. Everybody else has already run. Chris Dollerton won the Pepsi 400. Eric Matthews won twice. Chantel Ibarra has won a handful of times. Michael Dawson's won twice. Joel Qualls has won none. And Joel Qualls has also had a very struggling first half of the season it's kind of like the opposite James Qualls had a very good first half but has a horrible second half Joel Qualls has had a horrible first half and Jackie Qualls has also been rejuvenated as well although Jackie right now is farther back in the field matter of fact Jackie Qualls is all the way back here we saw her battling with Alex Filter for I do believe this is 14th 13, 15 spot. She's dropped back. John Douglas battling it out with Trey Campbell. Who had a good showing early on, but has seemed to stagnate her to himself. Let's see if Joel Paul's going to make a move on our number two in the points. He's right now in a very good standing with herself, with Alexander Dawson being in the situation that he's in. Who actually... The field is getting ready to come up on Alexander Dawson and Ryan Cooper, both of which who are... Alexander's not in the lead lap, and Ryan Cooper is on the lead lap, but having a very hor horrible performance. Ten laps to go. Let's see if Joel Paul's going to make a move on Chantel. Now he is. Chantel Ibarra getting a challenge for third by Joel Qualls. Looking to have his best finish of the season. He has not had very much a good showing. He's had a couple top five finishes, but he's never had anything better than fourth, if I remember correctly. Michael Dawson's going to take fourth, too. So. And now Michael Dawson's going to try to challenge Joel for the third spot, but not to be. Meanwhile, going up way high is Jamie Banks, and Sasha Dawson's going to take advantage of that. Megan Yee actually dropped back, dropped up dip in the mix there. But still... Chris Dollerton and Eric Matty starting to make a little bit of closer ground. So he could do anything at any time. Eric Matty's going to, like right now, Eric Matty's going to go for the inside. He's going to say, I'm going to challenge the lead for Chris Dollerton. He's got enough momentum. And ironically, what timing? you got lap traffic coming in. Here comes John Alexander Dawson, not lap traffic. Joel Qualls is going to try to get the number two spot from Dollerton. Dollerton goes up high. Dollerton's in trouble. Eric Matthews gets the lap. Joel Qualls gets second. And you talk about more trouble for Chris Dollerton. He's trapped behind that lap traffic. Alexander Dawson playing a factor. And right now, number one and two, Eric Matthews, Joel Qualls. The patriarch of the Qualls family. He's going to try to make a peek to the inside. It looks like he is. He's going to make a challenge. The... Highest of our non-winners thus far. Making a move on Eric Matthews. This time by, it'll be five laps to go. There's more lap traffic, and that is Ryan Cooper. Who is going to use Ryan Cooper to their advantage? Will Joel Qualls use Ryan Cooper to his advantage? Or will he not? Michael Doss is going to take second. So far, all three of them really used them wisely. Behind them, Chris Dollarton is going to take the fifth, fourth spot from... Chantelli Barra. Now Michael Doss is going to try to challenge Joel Qualls. Enough momentum. He's got it. Eric Matthews is going to follow suit. So Joel Qualls, who didn't really lead a lap for the most part, is going to give it up with four laps to go. Still anybody's race. These four have basically been swapping positions. Everybody's led a lap here, except for Chantel really has led a lap kind of ironic. And then Megan Yee is actually sixth. The gap is starting to close. Eric Matthews is now in second. Michael Dawson, who won most recently at Martinsville, he also won earlier in the year at Richmond, the first Richmond event. He's actually qualified for the Winston. 
And now we got three wide, and Chantelle Ibarra is going to get the third spot. Joel Qualls drops back to sixth, thanks to Megan Yee. Two laps to go this time by. Right now it's turning into a two-way dance with Eric Matthews and Michael Dawson. Michael has the lead by about a car length plus. Eric Matthews has a lap to do something. Eric Matthews has won twice. They both have won twice. They're both looking for their third win of the season. Ashley Chris Dollars drops back to seventh behind J.B. Banks. Joel Qual still rounds out the top five. White flag, one more lap to go. Here they come. Eric Matthews needs to make a move now. Four more left-hand turns for Michael Dawson. Let's see what will happen. There's James Qualls again, that equalizer, although it will not mean anything. Two more left-hand turns for Michael Dawson. Checkered flag getting set to fly. Michael Dawson will win his third event of the season, winning here at The Rock. Second spot will go to Eric Matthews. Third spot, Chantelle Ibarra. She'll like where she's finished there. Will help her in the points. Megan Yee and Joel Qualls rounds out the top five. Then Chris Dollarton, who led a lot of the, today's race. Jamie Banks, John Douglas, Trey Campbell, Ray Caster, your top ten. Jackie Qualls, Sasha Dawson, Austin Hughes, Jake Cole, Colin Cropley, Alex Filter, John Dawson, Kathy Guitar, Paige Johnson, Ryan Acosta, your top 20. Then John Acosta, Daniel Schwab, J.J. Norton, Zach Carlson, Keon Shaw, Tim Walsh, Haley Summerfield, Tim Fiegel, Skylin Carlson, Dylan Hughes, Liam Campbell, Aaron Reed, Dylan Pote, Josh Osborne, Stephanie Naylor. Then Ryan Cooper, James Qualls, Alexander Dawson, Connor Breeden, Alyssa Kondo, Johnny Garner and Vanessa Franz, and all of which DNF'd. But your winner getting his third win of the season, the number 94 Sunoco Ultra Old, Michael Dawson, gets it again. The point situation shakes up a little bit more as now Chantel regains the lead as we go to two more events left. With that third place finish, Alexander Dawson will finish, will drop back to second. 56 points is basically going to be one of these two that will win the championship. When it's all said and done, Johnny Gardner mathematically out, Daniel Schwab, Eric Matthews, your top five, then Sasha Dawson, Ray Caster, John Dawson, Jake Cole, and James Qualls with horrible finishes recently in this second half has dropped to rounding out the top ten, looking very bleak for him to get a top ten finish. Skylin Carlson, Alex Filter, John Douglas, Jackie Qualls, Zach Carlson, Chris Dollarton, Ryan Cooper, Austin Hughes, Tim Fiegel, and Dylan Hughes, your top twenty. Then Paige Johnson and Vanessa Franzen, Kathy Kentara, Stephanie Naylor, Trey Campbell, J.G. Anorin, Josh Osborne, Michael Dawson, Liam Campbell, Alyssa Kondo, Megan Yee, Ryan Acosta, Colin Cropley, Connor Breton, Dylan Pote, John Acosta, Tim Walsh, Jamie Banks, Keon Shaw, Joel Qualls, Haley Summerfield, and Aaron Reed rounding out the field with two events left, including one more trip to the road course that is Riverside. Napa Know How Western 500.